What is up guys? I am here with my WWE Elimination Chamber 2013 pay-per-view predictions. This is my last pay-per-view predictions before WrestleMania 29. Yes, WrestleMania is just in seven weeks. So it's gonna be quick guys. As we all know, Elimination Chamber is live pay-per-view tomorrow night. I gotta say overall, the Elimination Chamber card looks great. I honestly think this is the best looking uh, Elimination Chamber pay-per-view card uh, on paper-wise. Uh, you know, since pay-per-view started back in 2010, three years ago. And just, this card is really, really intriguing, I think. Uh, almost all the matches could be, you know, good to great, in my opinion. They have four big matches on this card, which, you know, for the Major Chamber, you only, the only big matches you get are the Chamber matches. But you're getting four big matches this year, which is uh, big. That's, that's huge. But, uh, yeah, the card uh, it consists of seven matches. Uh, six on the main card, because they have, of course, the YouTube pre-show. Three minutes before the pay-per-view. Uh, tag team match, Pro Skull Intense Ever vs. Uh, team Road Scholars for a one night only thing. Uh, yeah, let's, hopefully, let's hope it's not a one night thing. And in the main card, of course, you have uh, not two, but one Elimination Chamber match. Uh, I don't know why there's only one Elimination Chamber. I know uh, at Hell in a Cell in October, we only had one Hell in a Cell instead of you know two or three we usually get. And I gave that a pass because, you know... Uh, I like the fact that we had one Hell in a Cell instead because that made the Punk and Ryback match really, really like important because that was the match that, you know, that's going to be the cell. That was the focal point of the paper. It was that match. And the fact we're only getting one chamber this year doesn't make any sense to me. I do think there is a slight chance we still might get that six-man tag team match inside the chamber. I can still see that happening. You know, I can see the shield running out early on in the match. And, you know, Vicky or Vince comes out and says, we're putting you guys are going to be in the chamber. Because you guys want to run away, we're not going to let that happen. You guys get in the chamber now. So I can easily see that happening still, but, you know, it all depends on what they do. But, uh, you know, like I said, with the chamber match, uh, the six-man tag I just mentioned, the United States Championship match, rematch from the Royal Rumble pre-show, which should be good. The other match of the pre-show was really good. That should be good as well. Uh, the World Tiffany Championship, Alberto Del Rio defending the big show in a normal match, which is weird because their last match was a last-man standing match, and now it's going to a normal match. Uh, you would think it'd be the other way around. You think the Rumble match would be a normal match, and this match would be a last man standing match, but it's all kinds of confused. And uh, Divas Championship match, which is a really, really random match on the card. And of course, we have the WWE Championship rematch from the Royal Rumble. And I'm pretty sure it's all the matches on the card. Yeah, the pre show, uh, you have the Chamber, six man tag, US title, uh, world title, Divas title. Yeah, so all seven matches right there. Uh, like I said, looks to be the best chamber on paper. Let's hope it comes through. And it's a great, it's a great show. You know, I think this has potential to be a really, really good show. And let's let's hope that you know it does become a good show. But uh, nevertheless, let's get into my predictions, guys. Pre-show: Brodus Clay and Tensai versus Team Road Scholars. I can honestly see either team winning. I can see Brodus and Tensai winning because you know they just became a tag team, and you always want to make a tag team look good in their first form. If I can see Team Road Scholars winning because if they win, they could be like, you know, we're not doing so well in our singles career. We're better as a tag team. Let's, you know, officially uh, reform Team Road Scholars. So I can see them winning because of that reason. My pick will be Team Road Scholars to win this match to officially reform the tag team, hopefully. Uh, Bros and Tensai will probably win, but, you know, my pick will be Team Road Scholars to defeat Bros and Clay and Tensai. United States Championship match. United States Champion Antonio Cesaro versus The Miz. Uh, this should be a good match. Our uh, Rumble pre-show match was really good. So hopefully this is better than that, you know, especially all the hype now has. But uh, Cesaro will be my pick to retain the United States Championship. I just don't see the Miz winning. Uh, I think they'll do the thing what they did with Cesaro in uh, Truth last year at the uh, Survivor Series and TLC where he got back to back title shots but lost each time. I think that'll happen here. So uh, my pick here is still the United States Champion, Antonio Cesaro. World Heavyweight Championship number one contenders elimination chamber match. Winner faces the World Heavyweight Champion at WrestleMania 29. Randy Orton versus Jack Swagger versus Chris Jericho versus Mark Henry versus Kane versus Daniel Bryan. And my pick here, I think this is the only logical pick in this match, is for Chris Jericho to win this chamber. You know, to face the World Champion at WrestleMania 29. Uh, there's honestly no one in this match I think that should have a world title match at WrestleMania, especially uh, you know the, the choices we have being the World Champion at WrestleMania. Uh, you know, if I had a backup pick for this chamber, unfortunately, it'd be Jack Swagger. Yes, I honestly could see him challenging for the World Tower WrestleMania, unfortunately. But uh, like I said, my main picks would be Jericho, you know, uh, Orton, I don't see him winning. Mark Henry, I don't see him winning. Kane, I don't see him winning. And Brian, I love to see him winning, but I, I don't think he's going to win it. But uh, hopefully, this is a good match, you know, former World Champion Chamber. You know, uh, like I said, my pick is that uh, 
Y2J, Chris Jagger to win this chamber to face the World Heavyweight Champion at WrestleMania 29. Divas Championship match, Divas Champion Caitlyn versus Tamina Snuka. Uh, this match was very random with no hype, and I think no one even knows it's on the card. But uh, Caitlyn's retain obviously here. Uh, Tamina seems to push for the Divas title at uh, the Women's Chamber every year, but fails to win it. So my pick is still Divas Champion Caitlyn. World Heavyweight Championship match, World Heavyweight Champion Alberto Del Rio vs. The Big Show. Uh, weird how this is just a normal match where the Rumble match was the last man standing match, but you know, that's weird. But my pick is still World Heavyweight Champion Alberto Del Rio, and I really can't see Dolph Ziggler cashing in becoming the new World Heavyweight Champion after this match. You know, Big Show's pissed, knocks Del Rio out, Ziggler runs, runs down, cashes in, becomes the new World Heavyweight Champion, and the fans against Chris Jericho at WrestleMania 29. I would love to see that happen. I really, really hope that happens. So that's why I think uh, Del Rio will retain the World Heavyweight Championship. Just, you know, Del Rio's pissed, or Big Show's pissed, knocks out Del Rio, Ziggler cash in. Like I said, still World Heavyweight Champion, Alberto Del Rio with Ziggler cashing in. Six man tag team match John Cena, Sheamus, and Ryback versus The Shield. You know, I'd love to sh see The Shield win this match here. But since Cena's Rumble winner, and you always have to have the Rumble winner going to WrestleMania with momentum. My pick is that John Cena, Sheamus, and Ryback will defeat the Shield here. I still have hope that this will be in the chamber match. Hopefully, you know, early on the match, the Shield tries to run away with the crowd. You know, then they announce the chamber. This is me chamber match now. Chamber comes down. And, you know, I have hopes for that still. If it doesn't happen, you know, oh well, I'm not gonna cry over it. But uh, you know, this should be a good match either way. But like I said, uh, my pick here is that John Cena, Sheamus, and Ryback will defeat the Shield here. Then the main event. WWE Championship match, WWE Champion The Rock vs CM Punk, where if The Rock gets counted out or disqualified, he loses the WWE Championship to CM Punk. I do think The Rock will walk out the WWE Champion. I can see Punk winning the title, you know, via DQ or a countout, or I can see him getting screwed like he did at the Rumble, you know, losing the match, wanting another rematch for WrestleMania, and making a triple threat with John Cena and The Rock. But either way, I see The Rock walking out of the Elimination Chamber, still the WWE Champion. Uh, this match should be really good. I think the match, this match could top the Rumble match to be perfectly honest. I'm looking forward to this match on the Rumble match, which is weird. <laughs> but like I said, my pick here in this match will be that The Rock will retain the WWE Championship. Hope well, you guys enjoyed my video. Uh, 2013 uh, Elimination Chamber, baby, live on paper tomorrow night. Uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to it. This should be an exciting show. Uh, this is a good, good show on paper leading to WrestleMania. And I'm um, just, I'm hyped. I'm ready to see where this leads to. And, uh... Thank you guys for watching my video, and I'll see you guys for my Elimination Chamber 2013 paper review tomorrow. Later, guys.